It is Saturday, August the 15th, one day before Sunday. So I hope to see all of you in church on Sunday, at least those of you who live in Sarasota and who you feel like it's safe for you to come out in the COVID-19 uh, scenarios that we are in. But our church is safe and ready for you to join us tomorrow. We are in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18 and 21. And although we're only in chapter 10, you, you probably already felt like you're hearing the same things over and over because Proverbs is very redundant. And it's not redundant because of a lack of information or a lack of resources. It is because that's how we as humans learn by hearing the same truth in the same way multiple times, and then hearing the same truth in different ways multiple times, the truth finally sinks in. If we don't absorb truth through reading and meditation of God's Word, we are going to receive truth through experience. And sometimes that is the most harsh teacher. So listen to these verses, uh, Proverbs 10, 18 through 21. Whoever hides hatred has lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. And the multitude of words, sin is not lacking. But he who restrains his lips is wise. The tongue of the righteous is choice silver. The heart of the wicked is worth little. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for lack of wisdom. For those who are Hiding the hatred that they have in their heart, they automatically lie to do so. The believer speaks truth, speaks love. And if he has to speak words of re um, rebuke, he does so with love and kindness. But the fool not only hides his hatred with lying lips, he spreads slander. And slander isn't just negative stories about another person. Slander is dishonest telling of stories about another. So, so let's say you're talking about somebody and you have a juicy piece of information that's negative, but you add to it and you make the person who's hearing you have a different conclusion about that person than maybe they would on their own. You're crafting somebody's opinion of somebody else through slander. The Bible says that is a foolish thing to do. It does not display wisdom because it displays a deceitful and wicked heart. In the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. How many times has Solomon said that to these young men in the palace? That if you want to be a person of wisdom, watch your words and hold them back. And probably that means in every situation. I know in some times of my life, I'm very good at that. In other phases of my life, I'm not very good at that. I strive to learn this trait, to restrain my lips, because the Bible says that shows wisdom. And then the tongue of the righteous, therefore, is, sil is like silver, but the heart of the wicked is worth nothing, he said, in the eyes of wisdom. Because the heart of the wicked has no wisdom, because the heart of the wicked does not know God, does not fear God, and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the value here is not value to God, it's value to wisdom. Wickedness has no value. And so the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools will die for lack of wisdom while the righteous are feeding with their words. Again, it's a reminder to each one of us to listen more than we talk, to consider what we're going to say before we say it, to make sure that we are not saying something to hurt somebody's reputation simply because they have hurt us. To try to bring life and energy and hope to not only a situation but to a conversation. So that our words feed many. So that we don't ourselves become foolish in our pride. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for another week that we have uh, gone through. and We look forward to worshiping tomorrow with each other, whether it's on live stream or our face-to-face. We ask you to help us to live with wisdom, to refrain our lips from speaking deceit and slander, and just to watch the words we have in general so that we may learn how to feed with truth and grace and mercy. May you bless each person who um, took part in today's devotion, and may we all learn together how to apply it to our lives. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you, and we'll see you on Sunday.